Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up uh, the December monthly view in my vertical catch-all planner, although with the monthly view, you can't really, view, you can't really tell it's uh, whether it's dashboard or vertical or horizontal or what, because they all look the same. So, um, But this is my catch-all planner, so it gets all the miscellaneous and family stuff. So pet stuff, um, family birthdays. Um, since my husband and I are retired, we don't run around a whole lot, so um, I, I cook for us every day. And so I need to know if, you know, he, I keep track of if he's going to be out of the house. He um, works a couple days a month in, a, in an art gallery where his artwork is shown. So just that kind of stuff. And it helps me, bills, the few bills that I don't have on auto pay, that kind of stuff. So um, this is what I've got so far. Also, uh, recycling and any football games. So, the Buckeyes actually play their last game at the end of November, unless they're going uh, to the national playoffs, which is still TBD. It's likely, but I don't know when those games will be, so I'm not putting those on here yet. The Seahawks play usually on Sundays. They pit play the 5th, the 12th, the 19th. Uh... And for some reason, I, I only have one of each of these, the 26th. I, I, I messed this one up. Um, I have two of everything else. Anyway, I can fix that. Okay, so um, these, these blank Buckeye stickers are actually in case they play in the playoffs. I can use this Seahawks sticker in my weekly view for that one. Um, and I've got one, uh, a couple other generic Seahawks stickers. So anyway... Um, so the theme I'm going to go with, if, you wa if you're a regular watcher of my channel, then you probably, by the time this posts, will have seen my um, Thanksgiving week spread in my dashboard planner where I used this, the rest of this piece of scrapbook paper. And I cut it purposely a little bit short because I wanted to use this Happy Holidays. Um, but it's so big, like the, really the only place I could possibly use it would be on the monthly view. So what I'm going to do, I think, since we're lucky. We've got one empty day down here, but then all three of these days are empty. So I think what I'm going to try to do is cut it so that I can put it here. I'll go happy holidays, something like that. It's a little bit curved. We're, we're just, you guys, we're just going to have to play with it. So I'm going to speed this up while I, while I cut around this. I'm not going to cut super close to the letters. Um, but I am going to cut close enough to get it to where it'll fit more comfortably on my page. So, and I'm going to cut the two words apart. I need to do that because of how I'm going to have to fit it on the page. So, and I, that's my plan. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So, okay. So that's a really, really dark green in case you can't tell. I know it's hard to tell. The background, it looks kind of black, but it's actually a really dark green. So it looks like I, I can fit this mostly here. Um, ideally, I would cover up, jot it down. But, and it's okay if it covers up the fifth. That I'll, I can live with that. Um, and then for happy, I think for happy, actually, no, because it's curved too. I'm going to have to cut it kind of like this. So I do have my paper trimmer out. Since this is a smaller scrap, I should not, I should not have cut that off because that would have helped cover up jot it down let's just go ahead and wipe that out for right now maybe I'll find um, some other sticker we're just gonna totally be playing this by ear you guys I don't know how this is gonna turn out <laughs> we'll figure it out okay so there's that because I know I, I can't fit it all I've got to go in two directions so if I cut this a little closer, just trying to get my five, six, seven mostly showing without my Sunday, Monday getting covered off, covered up. That looks pretty good. Um, I, I don't want to have to punch it. So that looks pretty good actually right about there. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to do the same thing with Happy, I think. This, incidentally, this piece of scrapbook paper is from the 12 by 12 paper pack Save Freeze from Michaels. This is from last year's copy. I got mine last year, but they did bring it back again this year. I, I haven't compared them side by side to see if um, the pages are the same or not. So, And then I thought I could use this kind of maybe down here. Maybe put these little guys down here. Something like that. So we shall see. I think I want to, I'm going to have to trim this just a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to grab my wax paper and we're going to tape runner the back. Could I do something else that was prettier, more elegant, match, fit in the space better? I'm sure I could, but... I don't want to waste this. I think this is pretty. It's not ideally suited to the space, but I don't care. I kind of want to slide it up a little bit to overlap a little bit so that I have enough room to fit something down here. I mean, you're still going to be able to read that it says Happy Holidays. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking this bigger one and then this one. Um, so if I cut this... I'm going to cut it right above the red star on the top of the Christmas tree. Can you see that? I'll just use my little paper trimmer for this. I don't need the giant guillotine for this. Yeah, I think I need to cut as close to the deer, to the little reindeer here, and the guy throwing the snowball. These guys are so cute. Maybe I'll fussy cut this too, you guys. And that way... 26 will still show. I mean, I want to keep some of the snowflakes, but... So I'm just going to stick it right into the corner, and then I'll cut off this extra across the bottom. Okay, so... Wax paper again. Perfect. Oh my gosh, perfect. Okay, cool. And then this guy I want to put over here. That's going to be a very, very long throw, but... Yeah, I'm going to put him right there in the corner. So let's go ahead and cut this a little shorter. Actually, I need this to be, let's see exactly where I need to cut it. Right below that snowflake. Can you guys hear Jasper yelling at me in the background? I'm not sure why. He had lunch. It's really cold in the house right now, so I'm sure he wants me to get done so he can sit on my lap in front of the fire, which is what we will be doing when I'm done here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put this right, right in the corner. Okay, that's pretty cute. It's a little, like I said, it's not, it's not the most elegant, but I can, I'm, I can be happy with it. Okay, so let's do... Garbage and recycle bins. Um, so this is garbage, this is recycle. I'm just gonna use these super, super dark green ones. Recycle. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna be knocking this stuff out, you guys. Um, I do have this piece of scrapbook paper. I was thinking I could do, I could do a rip maybe and put some up there, we'll see though. Um, okay. So let's put on the Seahawks games. This one is on the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, the 26th. Okay, that's it for the Seahawks games. I got little scraps of paper everywhere. <laughs> okay, um, we have work. I'm going to grab the Brights sticker book because it's got work stickers. At least I think the Brights does. I can never remember which ones are in the pastels and which ones are in the Brights. Oh, and it's also got garbage cans. Oh, there's a couple pay bills on. So the problem is I'm not going to find super dark green. Hi, Jazzy. Um, hi, baby. <laughs> 
All right, I am going to have to see what's up with him. There's the work. And I might have to use red, and I will be right back. Okay, he is behind me playing with some crumpled up craft paper, so let's keep going. Um, I have my full moon sticker, so let's go ahead and put that on here. It's my last one. I'm gonna have to do 2022 ones. Cold moon. I know, that's pretty boring. White sticker, white sticker, nothing green. But it's crowded, so, okay. Um, let's find the, I don't really like any of the greens and there isn't a very good red. I don't like the way these match, so I might just use normal. Same thing with the bill pay stickers. I don't really like those colors. So, um, where are the garbage bins? There they are. Okay, trash day. Just barely fits. Okay. Um, all right, let's, so I have a couple other books pulled. I pulled the actual, the Save Freeze sticker book. So again, I got this last year, but I'm pretty sure Michael's brought it back again this year. Um, and these are the ones where if you, if you're careful, you can catch them on a, on a buy one, get two free. The back half of this book is more of a vintagey set of stickers but the front half is the coordinating safe freeze stickers and so like i can use something like this for john works the eighth and the ninth so i'm actually i'm looking at this really dark one hi jazzy i knew you wouldn't stay gone it's <clears throat> too long for one box so what i'm going to do if you can see is put it <laughs> <laughs> I think you could see better than I can see because he's standing in front of me. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this right here across the two days. One sticker and that way I can write his work. He works the same hours on both days. So, Okay, next I pulled this um, Park Lane sticker book, which I do have a flip through of this on my channel. I will try to remember to link that in the cards up above. Um, but it's got in it some really, really dark green um, pay some dark green boxes and some the ones I really want though they say um, you're gonna hit me in the face with your tail buddy there we go bill do um, and I have two of the really dark green ones left I think I used them for an all green spread uh, I did in the summer <laughs> which you can't see them so um, hang on guys hang in there okay uh, the two Bill Dew stickers. Let's get those on here. So this one on the 10th is Dentist. My sticker book's falling apart. And this one, which is the house, is the last Friday of the month. So technically the 31st, but I'll look to see if the pre-authorization has hit um, a little bit ahead. So... We'll go ahead and put it right here. There we go. Okay. I think that was everything I wanted out of this book. Just those last two super, super dark green stickers. Um, okay. I can probably find enough boxes in this book for everything else. Which I really only have these two paint things for sure. So I know there are smaller boxes that will fit within the, within the squares. Like there's this super dark green one, but it's too wide. Um, I feel like I'm under the gun. I gotta hurry before Jazzy comes back again. Here we go. Here are a couple. There's one super dark green. Oh, there was some dark green. Okay, those are the only super short ones. Um, so let's go ahead, since this is right next to this dark green, we can use a different color there. So let's put this one here. John's got a show that day. So I'm just going to write like art show or something in there, something. And then on that, that week, I can put more detail on Friday the 3rd. Um, and then for this one, let's do, let's do this brown one I think again I will put um, the extra detail on the 12th during the weekly spread so there okay 
That looks pretty darn good. Um, it helped that I had this book to match the super dark green. I'm just looking to see what other extra dark green stuff is in here. I don't want to put a whole lot of deco in the calendar. So here's what I'm thinking, you guys. I'm thinking I still have this piece of scrap paper. Maybe I'll tear. Maybe I'll put... Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how to tear paper. I'm going to put... I want the torn edge to be along here. And I want the torn edge... When you tear paper, depending on whether you tear up or tear down. So I'm going to put the straight edge up here. So I need to tear it. I need my tear line to be about here. So I'm going to tear up and that way you can see here see see how I don't have a white edge here but I do have a white edge there and I feel like the white edge makes a softer transition from the dark green of the paper to the white of my page so I want I want that white edge um, yeah so if I tape runner this here, I, and I actually, I wanna, um, let's see, I'm gonna tear it up again. I wanna get a little more off of there. Make that a little more even. But then, I think I wanna tear, I wanna, I wanna taper toward the corner with this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna tear up toward that corner. There's my white edge. So see how I've got a white edge there? So I can put this right, tuck that right up against the 2021, glue that on. Now if I had matching washi tape or something like that, I could use that. But since I don't, and I really want to bring more of this really dark, like Christmas night sky kind of paper onto the page still, this is what I've come up with. Okay, I'm going to have to punch that one hole. So we'll cut this off. That helps. And then I think I want to do the same thing um, a bit here and a bit here. So let's rip. There's not any direction to this, so I can rip up. Let's see. I'm going to rip up again. I'm going to aim for this corner because that's going to go up next to the R in December. There we go. All right, let's do that one. Tuck this right up against the R. Okay, I'm going to grab my single hole punch and get those two holes before I forget. So I just have the Crocodile. We are Memory Keepers Crocodile Power Punch for this. And I will link that in the description box. You can get it at Michael's. You can get it directly from We Are Memory Keepers. Either one. Oops, I didn't get glue on that little bit right there. Oh, well. That's okay. It'll be... All right. I guess I did. Why didn't it stick? It's sticking to my desk. Oh, well. I'll deal with it later. Okay. I want one more little piece, I think, right there. So, oops. Like I said, squirrel, chipmunk, whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to hurry before the cat comes back. That's not big enough. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and just do... I have come far enough, so I'm going to head for the corner. There. Just a tiny little scrap, really. Uh, you know what? I really want that to be taller. Let's try that again. Man, I'm having trouble with this edge, you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that looks okay right there. And that gets most of my whiteout covered up, too. So, one last time. Excellent. Okay. That's what we have so far. Um, you know what I could do? I could cover in the December with a red. A crimson red December in 2021 that matches this. I think I'll do that. I'm going to pause this 
and clean up all the little bits of paper on my desk and grab a red pen. So this is a Monami Live Color. It's a dual tipped. These are the ones that Heather Keller recommended because she said they um, reminded her of exactly of the Erin Condren dual tip pens. So I went ahead and tried them and they're great. I love them. Um, this just happens to have the red color that matches the dark reds in this. Well, um, I could also, I've used um, Paper Mate flares for this as well. So I'm just going to speed this up while I color this in real quick. Oh, I like that little hit of red. I think it needed that with all that green. So, okay. Um, everything else really is a day, a, a date that I don't want to put too much on. I did forget, um, I like to label my bills. So this one was the house. So, um, I, I forget this came out of one of the basic planner sticker books, um, from happy planner, the little house there. I just, this is my, um, sticker storage for little sticker bits. Um, I need a D for dentist. There we go. Got a tooth. This one came out of like the mom or something, I think. Anyway, I just use these to, um, put with the bill stickers. So I remember which one's which. So I can't get that off of there. It's kiss cut too deep. I will do that off camera. You guys don't need to see, sit here and watch me fight with that. The only other thing is I just want to do <coughs> a quick flip of the um, Safe Free sticker book just to see if there's anything else to kind of put on here that won't take up too much space. So, I mean, there's lots of cute, super cute little stickers in here. But I, I want to keep the functional space just in case. <coughs> There's these little tiny round stickers that I could pepper around. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So like I have lots of heavy green down there and I'm a little lighter on the green down here. So let's put this dark green one over here. And as long as I put them kind of in between the days, I'll have, pl I'll be maintaining plenty of functional space in case something comes up that I need to add. There's a little Christmas present. I know that's way down in the corner, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, there's more. I didn't use them all. Well, it's okay. Here's some little clear stickers I could put places. Like this holly. Just turned the red so it was further away from this red. Um, this little sprig, long and thin, could go maybe up here. So that isn't such a big white space, you know. Um, I don't know how much more I can fit on there, you guys. I mean, I feel like it's got... It's got chunks of color and then chunks of white, but it just, I mean, it is what it is. The way I chose to use that dark, chunks of dark paper, you know what I mean? I can't, there's only so much I can do to break that up. So this is a little piece of mistletoe. Let's put that on there, why not? Super cute. I think I need to be done. Um, Yep, I think I'll be done. So there isn't much foil on there, but I still, I think it's going to look great um, on the gold discs in my planner anyway. So let's see how it looks. I have not done my December vellum yet. I still need to do that before I try to match my goals to it. So there we go. There is my December catch-all spread with lots of snowflakes and uh, green and red. Um, lots of safe, safe freeze uh, Christmas stuff from Michael. So I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to use those scraps and other things that you find pretty in creative and unique ways. Um, if you know, if you're hanging on to something, got it in your stash, haven't figured out how to use it, 
there are all kinds of ways to use that stuff. So I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to um, think outside the box and use, use those scraps and bits that you've been hanging on to. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.